We're now going to install Alembic to be able to do database migrations. If you're not familiar with migrations, it's just a way to track model changes in your code base so that other team members and the different environments can keep up to date as you change your database schema. So we'll install Alembic by doing pbenf install Alembic. We will now initialize the migration setup, which will create both an Alembic INI and the a migrations folder. So do pbenf run Alembic init migrations. If you do an ls, you'll see the alembic.ini file and the migrations folder. We need to tell Alembic three things. First, we need to use our environment variables to connect to the database. Second, we need to tell it what models our application uses. And finally, we need to tell it how to connect to the database. So let's begin setting up the environment variables in the migrations slash env.py file. Add the following at the top before logging.config. We'll need all these libraries for the next step. Then add this under from Alembic import context on line 10. The parent variable will figure out the parent folder so that we can fetch the .quartenv file location and pass it to the python-.env. And finally, we add that parent folder to the sys.path so that Alembic has access to it. Then on line 35, right before the run migrations offline function, let's add the following. We're giving the alembic.ini file, which we'll edit in a little bit, access to the environment variables. Now we can move to step two. Tell Alembic what models we have in our application. So on line 25, let's replace that whole block with the following. This is very important to remember. Any new models you add subsequently, you need to add them here. Save the file. With all that in place, we'll finally move to the last step. Tell Alembic how to connect to the database. Open the alembic.ini file and change SQL Alchemy URL on line 38 like this. These firewalls are coming from the env.py we edited earlier. Save the file. And with this, we're ready to run our first migration. 